Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sunday morning Baptiste Vinyasa with Roham. Baptiste Vinyasa is a sequence created by a gentleman named Baron Baptiste. It's a sequence for everybody. It's designed to work your entire body in a short period of time. And the only difference between beginner and advanced is how often you might need to modify. So the benefit of yoga is just to simply do as much or as little as you can today and join me on the mat as often as you can. We'll start in child's pose just to let go of any past, current or future expectations. Settling the hips towards the heels, relaxing the elbows, relaxing the fingers. Begin deep breathing. Inhaling into the lower, middle and upper lung. Exhaling, settle the hips towards the heels. Inhale, cross the upper chest, full lungs. And exhale, relax your shoulders and neck. During the class, try to use your ujjayi breathing, which is a constriction of the back of the throat. It creates an audible breath, almost like an ocean wave sound coming and going from the shoreline. That Ujjayi breathing will keep you centered, will maintain body temperature, and will calm the mind. Engage your Ujjayi breathing. Create some space between the fingers. Begin to make it feel like you have 10 fingers per hand. You can walk the hands towards the top of the mat and begin to feel your shoulders as the arms straighten. I always use this opportunity to roll the forehead a couple times. Downward dog shape. Press those hips up, heels down. Either your index or middle finger faces forward. If your shoulders are tight, make it your index finger. Over time, it'll be your middle finger. Your goal in downward dog isn't to have the legs straight necessarily, but to find an equal balance between your hands and your feet. Relax the neck, and one day have the tip of the bicep lining up to the tip of the ear, crease of the elbow face ceiling. Deep breathing. If downward dog is in any way difficult on your wrists, shoulders, set your knees down. Skip downward dog as much as you need. Downward dog into a forward fold. Walk your hands back and your feet forward. Meet somewhere on your mat. Grab your elbows. Relax your neck. If you've got tight hamstrings, you benefit from bending the knees, placing the elbows on the knees, and releasing the fingers. Just like this. Over time, as you lengthen your hamstring, you'll still be able to protect the low back, finding straighter legs. Bend your knees, slowly rise. Inhale the shoulders up, back and down. Take a step to the top of your mat. 
Sun salutation, Surya Namaskar 8. We'll take the first few a little bit slower. It, the first one a little slower. Inhale your arms up, draw your shoulders down. Take another inhale and press the pelvis forward. Exhale, start to fold, belly tight. Bend your knees as much as you need to protect the back. Eventually, the hands line up beside the feet. Hands dangling. One day, you'll look like a sandwich from the side. Inhale into a half lift. Everybody hands on their shins. Doesn't matter where in the practice you are. Straighten your spine. Draw the shoulders away from the floor and the ears. So you're lengthening that back. Inhale across the upper chest. Plant active hands onto the mat and step into a plank position. Right now, you can set your knees to the mat to modify. Turn the crease of the elbow towards the front of the mat. Inhale across the upper back. Start to lower. You're hovering with a 90 degree elbow or you're laying to the mat. Inhale into a mini cobra or an up dog. Exhale into a downward dog. We're going to do a few of those to begin the warm up process. Have a wonderful class this morning. Bend your knees, look forward, step or jump, top of mat. Inhale, half lift, straight spine. Exhale, full, relaxed neck. Inhale up to the sky, draw the tailbone down. Exhale, full, tighten the belly. Inhale, scoop chest, half lift. Exhale, high to low plank, stop with a 90 degree elbow. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, down dog. Bend your knees, look forward, step or jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, up to the sky. Exhale, start to fold. Inhale, scoop the chest. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Relax your neck. Spread the fingers. Make sure the insides of the feet are square. Bend the knees if you have to. As you breathe. Next three, we're doing back to back. Take a deep breath. Bend your knees, look forward, step or jump lightly. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, relax neck. Inhale up to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, scoop chest. Exhale, step or jump back, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Step or jump, forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, relax neck. Inhale, up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. One more. Step and jump forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, relax neck. Inhale up to the sky. Draw the tailbone and shoulders down. Exhale, start to fold, belly tight. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, high to low plank. 
Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale. Relax the neck. Deep breathing. Chair pose. Bend your knees, look forward, lightly step or jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, shoulders away from your ears. Chair pose. Toes and knees are six inches apart today. Tighten the belly, draw the tailbone down a little bit. Pull the knees away from the front of the mat, lean the upper body back. Soften the jaw, draw the shoulders down, spread the fingers apart. Test limits of balance. Make it feel like you might fall backwards. One day the biceps line up to the ears, take another breath, bend your knees. Exhale, steamroller. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back, high to low plank. Up dog or cobra. Down dog. Warrior one, right foot forward. Inhale, rise. For warrior one, left foot 45 degrees, arms are up. You want that left foot pointing in the same direction as your left knee. Now move your left shoulder forward so it squares to the top of your mat. Feel what happens in the front of the left hip flexor. Make sure you start to rip your mat in half. You're using the strength from the feet to tear your mat in two. Keep that tailbone drawing towards your left heel. Telescope the ribs, but shoulders draw down. Upper back bend, warrior two. Now, this is a bit of a foot reset. The right heel lines up to the arch of the left foot or the left heel. Shoulders are down, arms are up. The best thing we can do is bring this bottom rib in towards the spine, start to find a straighter spine. We then begin to open up that hip by bending into the right knee, ensuring it's stacked above the right hip, right heel. Lean away from the front of the room so that spine is straight. Move your right knee to the right and give the edge of the left foot more energy. What we need more than anything in this world is warriors of peace. Flip right palm. Take a deep breath and inhale the right arm up. Reach your left arm down. Then back into that right knee and strengthen the left leg. Lengthen both sides of the ribs for your inhale and bend back into the right knee on the exhale. Deep breathing. Stretch the front of the body, exhale windmill. Don't drag that foot, elbows brush ribs, up dog or cobra. Down dog. Place your left foot forward lightly. Root your right heel down firmly. Inhale, rise. Left knee must stack. Right foot 45. Line that right foot up to the right knee. Protect your knee. Any movements, flexibility in the hip. So move that right shoulder forward and feel that hip flexor, psoas, maybe stretch a little. Weights equal in the feet. Rip your mat in half. Do not claw the mat with your feet. So lift those toes up, but rip the mat in half. Warrior two. Line the heel up to the heel or heel to arch of foot. Utilize your exhales to bend into the knee. from the front of the mat, front of pelvis up, 
Bottom rib in. Belly tight or the on the bottom is nice and strong. Get your toes from gripping the mat. Soften expression. Breathe, warriors. Every exhale, you're moving. You're not still. Flip left palm. Utilize your inhale to lift that left arm up. Don't collapse on the right side. I need you to lengthen both sides of the ribs. Warriors never collapse. But they stretch the left more than the right. So reach in to that sky. Bend back into that left knee and breathe into the front of the body. Windmill, slow. Don't drag the foot. Elbows brush ribs. Up dog or cobra. Down dog. <sighs> okay, everybody. That's fun. It's time to flow. Vinyasa flow. Same sequence. One breath per movement. <sighs> we'll do at least two more of those sequences. Bend your knees, look forward, lightly step or jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, relax, neck. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, inhale, rise. Exhale, open. Inhale, warrior peace. Exhale, windmill. All the way down. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, inhale. Open warrior two. Inhale, warriors. Exhale. Elbows, brush ribs. Same exhale might have taken you down. Cobra up dog. Down dog. Bend your knees, look forward, step or jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, relax neck. Inhale up to the sky into chair pose. Exhale, fold. Scoop chest. Jump back. Up dog. Down dog. Warrior one. Warrior two. Warrior of Peace, Vinyasa, Up Dog, Down Dog, Left Foot, Two Breaths if you need, Never Skip a Breath. No, we're not done. That was just too much fun. Sunday morning, everyone. Get warmed up. Prepare for the day. Prepare for the week. Bend your knees. Look forward. Step or jump. Inhale. Half lift. Exhale. Relax neck. Inhale. Chair. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Scoop chest. Jump back. Up dog or cobra, down dog. Warrior one, right foot. Warrior two, warrior of peace. All the way down. Two breaths if you need. Take it to your down dog, keep going, left foot. Inhale, rest. Open, inhale, 
Exhale. All the way down, two breaths. If you need it, take it. Well, that feels good. Warming up a little bit. That's the end of the warm up. Have a sip of water. Moisten the mouth. Sequence of postures, starting in downward dog shape. Get your toes to touch an invisible center line. You're gonna inhale that right leg straight to the ceiling. Keep the right leg straight and lower the right hip an inch so the hips are square to the mat. Inhale the right leg higher to the ceiling. Only bend right knee. Next inhale, open dog. Weights equal in the hands, stretching the right armpit to rib region. Inhale, stretch that region. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Take that elbow a little higher. Inhale, right leg up. Right knee to the left elbow. Inhale, right leg up. Right knee to the forehead. Inhale, right leg up. Step your right foot forward. Rise. So runner's lunge, arms are up, right knee is stopped exactly over your right ankle. Slight bend to the left knee to protect your low back, drawing the front of the pelvis up, or set your left knee down, okay, to modify. Get those shoulders out of the ears, spread the fingers, deep breathing. If you want a straight left leg, you're going to invite the thumbs to the center. Inhale as you straighten that leg and move that low back with that straightening. Exhale into your twist. Stack the knee, soften the left pinky toe. Strengthen the left leg or keep it on the mat, that left knee. Twist upper middle spine and draw shoulders away from your ears. Lower the hips, soften the jaw, spread the wings if you want. Deepening the twist into the shoulders. Lifting the gaze, lowering the hips again. Get out of that right knee. Utilize the breath to open into warrior two. One smooth motion. Stay bent in the right knee, don't get a rest. In fact, widen the stance, bend into the knee more. Can we find a straighter back? Bottom rib in. You on it. Toes are strong, but they're not gripping, not gripping anything. Breathe into that right hip. Set your forearm onto your thigh. Reach your left arm to the front of the mat. Move your left thumb to face the ceiling pinky to the floor. But that's not a wrist movement. That's a shoulder movement. Okay, wrapping the shoulder around chest. Then move that left shoulder away from the floor so you're stacking the shoulders. Bend back into the right knee, get into that hip.
half bind, reaching that right hand behind, grabbing elastic band every body. Some of us might go for a short pocket or thigh, opening the chest. Now some of us can take our full bind if we're ready. I've got three breaths left in me. Full bind if you want, guys, or relax your neck. Slowly release. Step your foot back, slow. Slowly lower. On the exhale, always. Cobra or up dog is your practice, is your mat, it's your living room or bedroom. Downward dog. Okay. Let's do that same sequence on the other leg. Place your left foot, mm, toes touch, hands shoulder width apart. Inhale, left leg up to ceiling. Straighten left leg. Lower left hip. Inhale, left leg higher. Breathe into right calf. Bend left knee. Inhale, open the dog. Weights equal in the hands. Stretch hip away from armpit. Inhale, expand the ribs. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Take the elevator higher. Then inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left knee to forehead. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step lightly forward. Weights in that right hand if you need. Set your right knee down. Inhale, your arms up. Breathing. Runner's lunge, patience. Left knee must stop. Right knee's not arrow straight, okay? Unless you can do a perfect front back split. So lean in with your knee be straight. So bend that knee. Draw the tailbone towards the knee. Okay, so feel what happened in the front of the pelvis. Feel that low back, the space, the relief. Breathe. Shoulder blades are drawing down. Thumbs mean sternum. Strengthen and lengthen. And twist on the exhale. Keep that left knee stuck. Soften the right pinky toe, lower the hips. Draw the shoulders away from the ears and lift the belly off the thigh. I like to keep my gaze down. You're welcome to lift your gaze. Or open your wings for the final three breaths. Shoulders away from your ears, soften your jaw, twist middle upper spine on the inhale. Utilize your exhale with smooth motion. Warrior two. Don't straighten that left knee. Don't you dare bend into that left knee. Straighten the spine. Move the left knee to the left. Send your forearm onto your thigh. Make sure that knee's stuck. Left palm face ceiling, right arm reach. Your eventual goal is to create a straight line from the right finger to the right heel. Open the chest, right shoulder away from the floor. If you were to press your left elbow, forearm into left thigh, you can move the left shoulder away from the left ear. Half bind, some of us might take a full bind.
Full binders, you're almost there. Take your time to release, okay? Set things down slowly. All those brush ribs. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Side plank. Left hand, middle of mat, active left hand. Left knee under, left hip, line knee up to left wrist, right foot up, right heel up to left knee. Inhale, arm up. This is a lot. If you're doing it right already, I feel things happening. Opening of the hip flexor, drawing down of the shoulders. If you have to be in a bigger expression, try wide stats, expose sole of feet, Draw tailbone to heel, press hips forward, then hips up. So learn to create length in the front body and get out of bubble butt. Whether you're modifying or you're in a full expression, you must be breathing and not waiting for a release cue. If you're just sitting there waiting for a release cue, you should be modifying. Inhale that right leg up. Now inhale your hips up. Inhale that right leg up one more time. Exhale, switch sides. Active hand. Left knee. Right knee lines up to right wrist, lines up to right heel. Inhale your left arm up. Draw your tailbone towards the left heel. Keep the shoulders drawing away from the ears. Move your left arm three inches forward and then open the chest. Move your left shoulder three inches back. Feel the difference. Enjoy your breath, maybe a lifting of the gaze. Draw your tailbone towards your heels. Inhale that left leg up. Inhale, press the hips forward and the hips up. Inhale, the left leg higher. Exhale, vinyasa. Slowly. Knees down if you want to modify, no problem. Cobra, inhale, great idea. Exhale, down dog. Okay. Prayer twists, seated prayer twists. Travel to the top of your mat. I mean, step, walk, shuffle. Chair pose. Toes and knees are touching, belly's touching, is up, spread. Fingers. Thumbs meet sternum. Right elbow, left knee, open chest. Straighten your back. Lift the toes. Square the knees to the front of the mat, so pull your right knee away. Lift the gaze, spread the wings if you want. Upper middle spinal twist. Get out of your low back. Get into the shoulders if you want. The chest. Slowly release. No rest. No rest. You can modify if you need. You can back out if you need. But we skip this rest. Chair pose. Square your knees, so pull left knee away from front of mat. Toes are up. Hips are lower. Think lightning bolts. How can you create lightning bolts with the body? Heads higher than the shoulders. Hips higher than the knees. Open those wings if you need. One more big breath. Let it go. 
feet hip width apart. Index middle finger, grab big toes. Relax neck. Just like at the start of the class, you've got tight hamstrings. You should just bend the knees, place the elbows on the knees. Get the foot belly closer to the thighs, releasing the hamstrings. Balancing, aren't you excited? And slowly rise. Shift weight to left leg. Left hand, left hip, right hand, right knee. Breathe. You can grab that toe, you do not need my permission. Open. For sure, for many years of my practice, this was as far as I could go. One day you'll straighten and you'll fall out at that moment. And that's okay. Let's bring everything back to the center. Hands on hips, squeeze shoulder, shoulder blades, straighten right leg. Heel hip height, point and pull three times with your breath. Bend the knee, tighten the belly, take it into warrior three to modify, do this teeter-totter shape. But one day you're working that right hip down and that whole body parallel to the mat. Rise. Knee hip height, heel under knee. Inhale, telescope ribs. Exhale. Take it to a twist. Straighten and bend three times. One, two, three. Hands down, strong left leg. Take a flight, warriors. Breathe, warriors. Take your time to release. Shake, shake, shake. Weights in the left foot, mm, right foot. Inhale, left knee up. Inhale, open. You can grab that big toe, you don't need my permission. But look for some nice clean lines, no matter where you are. Strong leg. Inhale, left knee back. Hands on hips, squeeze shoulder, shoulder blades, straighten left leg. Now point and pull the left toe three times. Bend your knee, tighten your belly. Take flight, warriors. Take flight, come on up. Inhale. So first telescope, so you don't twist your low back. Then open into the chest. Protect your back, my back didn't move. Maybe grab that toe, go ahead, it's your practice. Center line. Squeeze shoulder, shoulder blades. Straighten and bend, left leg three times. One. Tighten belly. Take flight, warriors. Tailbone to left heel, lower left hip. Draw shoulders away from the ears, soften the expression. Slowly. Set it down slow. Okay, 
Quieto. Gap between thighs, <clears throat> elbows or shoulder height in the sequence. Forearms squared to top of mat, to wall in front of you. Move your knees to the right, lift your chin. Move your elbows away from your shoulders, bend your left knee more. Release. Left arm under right. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, move gap between thighs. Point or hook your left toe to your right ankle. Move your elbows away from your shoulders. Soften your jaw. Draw your shoulders down. Lift your chin. Bend your right knee. Release. Exhale, dancers. Right palm, palm upright. Keep your palm upright. Grab your ankle from the inside. Invite the knee to the center line. Inhale your left arm up. Kick into the right hand. This is enough for most of us. Keep the weight in the ball of the left foot as you start to lay your belly over a table in front of you. Lower your right hip one day, square hips to wall in front of you or the floor. Deep breathing. If you fell out, you get back in. Unity in the world. Your goal in this posture is to find a standing split. Standing splits. Take your time to switch sides. Left palm, palm up right, keep palm up right. Drop wrist to thigh, keep palm up right. Invite ankle from inside and knee to center line. This is enough for a lot of us. Opening of the chest, the front hip flexor, Right arm up, 30 seconds. Kick into the left hand, 50% of your leg strength. Move your, lay your belly over an invisible table in front of you. Keep re-engaging the right leg, shifting the weight to the ball of the right foot. Lower the left hip and get the knee to disappear behind the hip. Deep breathing, soft expression. Right hand, shoulder height or higher. <sighs> Standing splits is your goal. When the knee disappears, the toes reappear. When the toes reappear, the calf reappears. So you're kicking up, kicking more, and releasing. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump back. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale. Pyramid, right foot forward. Keep your hands on the floor today. Square your ten toes to the front of the room, mat. Feet on railroad tracks, not a tight rope, so you have space for the pelvis. If you need, you're on a block or water bottle to find a straighter spine, dig, dig, dig into your right hamstring. Breathing into that right hamstring. Inviting the belly towards the right thigh.
So as a revolve triangle first, keep your feet in the same position. Use a prop, 90% of us. If you don't have a prop handy, get your hand right onto your shin or thigh. Inhale, lengthen the spine before you twist. Inhale to open. So again, it's not about the low back. Your hips are still square to the front of the mat. It's about opening up middle, upper spine and chest. Shoulders away from the ears. Big toe mounds get pressure. Breathing. Slowly release. Now, left foot 45 degrees, heels in one line. Triangle. Right hand on shin, thigh, or prop. Left arm up. Try to lengthen out of the low back. And then again, begin to open middle up her back. Protect your lumbar. Big press pelvis to that side wall and draw the shoulders away from the ears. Feet and toes are active. Are you breathing? Rise. Last posture on the sequence. Half moon pose. Hand on block or hand on floor. You can also level up by setting up a half bind, grabbing elastic band, or you can level up once you have half moon turning into quarter moon, which is dancers and half moon combined. Now, don't jump into the posture. Shorten your stance, bend your right knee, and shift the weight over top of that right foot. Then inhale, Left arm up, right leg straightens. This is enough for a lot of us. If you can lengthen out of the spine, draw the tailbone towards the left heel, maybe you want to play with quarter moon. But for, for sure, you have to learn about that low back, otherwise you're just creating compression in that low back, which is the worst place. Deep breathing, no matter what you're doing or you're not doing yoga. Slowly release if you didn't already. Vinyasa, high to low plank. Up dog or cobra, nobody cares. Down dog. Left foot forward. Pyramid. Ten toes face the front of the room. Feet are not on a tight rope, so think railroad tracks. Move that left hip back, right hip forward. Get on a block to protect the spine. It's fine. Find a straight spine. Big toe mounds push, right? So the inner, inner mound of the foot. Lengthen the spine, exhale deep in the fold. Parvrita Trikonasana, revolve triangle. Right hand on a block, even me, straight spine. Look at that. Start to open the chest. Only if your hamstrings can accommodate a straight spine would you be lower. Twisting and breathing. I like to keep my gaze down. But you can lift that left arm up, deepening twist, lifting the gaze if you want. Slowly release. Triangle, so a bit of a foot reset. Heels, 40, right foot 45, heels in one line. Use a prop. Right arm up. Shoulders away from ears. 
Big toe mounds get pressure. Deep breathing. Vinyasa. Oh, we should do half moon. There's no rush to set it up. There's no rush in yoga. For those that are new, we'll move into it together. For those that have been doing this for a while, breathe your way into quarter moon. Ride the breath, nothing's gonna work. If you're new, short distance. Don't jump. No, momentum is not your friend for this. I want you to shift weight into left foot. So shift your body weight over top of that foot. The right foot softens. Inhale. Straighten left leg, lift right foot. Chest is open. Lift the pelvis. Half moon, there's where are you? Get a hold of that ankle, but draw that tailbone towards the knee. Open the chest. Get the shoulders away from the ears. Deep Ajayi breathing. Slowly release. Hide a little plank. Elbows brush your ribs. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. High plank. Low plank all the way to your belly. Let's do cobra pose, top of the feet to the mat, hands under the shoulders, spread the fingers apart, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Keep your feet, belly button and hands down, lift your knees and ribs. No palm pressure, use back strength. Keep your belly button to the mat, but move those elbows towards a 90 degree angle. Using back strength and breath. Slowly release. Right into locust, salambasana. Reach your hands back. Everything up. Shoulders away from the ears. Palms face towards one another. Some of us might interlace those fingers Digging into the shoulders more, legs are lifted. If you're interlacing the fingers, thumb off back. Breathe. Release. Right into Purna Salambasana, full locust. Spread the wings. Everything up, legs, hands, ribs. Squeeze the thighs, draw the tailbone away from the low back. Shoulders away from the ears. Lift the middle of your thigh right now. Lift the bottom rib, hands higher. Slowly release. You're gonna do that exact same thing again. Do full locust parnasan basana again. Some of us are gonna sit up for floor bow, ganarasana. If it's hard to grab your ankles, don't grab your ankles, do airplane. Come on up. Take into the hands. Draw the shoulders away from your ears. Keep that tailbone drawn towards the knees. Deep breathing. Think teardrop shape. Slowly release. Windshield wiper those legs. Top of the mat. So middle of the mat for <sighs> camel. 
at any stage of camel, you're welcome to stay, breathe, and concentrate on lengthening the low back. For camel, six inches between knees and ankles, that's two fists. Thumbs in, fingers out. Draw your tailbone towards your knees. Inhale, telescope the ribs up. Draw the shoulders down and press your hips forward. Press your feet down. Lift the chest up on an inhale. Keep the tailbone drawing down. Press the hips forward further. Lift out of the low back. Tailbone draws towards calves or knees. Shoulders away from your ears. Walk your way out of it. Take your time. Hands, long shins for embryo. Onto your back, everybody. I'm going to move my mat for a different view. Bridge, wheel, abdominals, and savasana. Maybe a soft twist and a hip opener somewhere in there. Okay. For bridge, brush your heel with the middle finger. Knuckles down, palms up. Press top rim of sacrum into the mat and then feel the top rim of the sacrum lift. Curl your tailbone towards your calves or knees and lift middle upper back, bridge pose. Let's interlace the fingers. Press the pinkies down, lift the hips up. Give the center line, inner line of your feet more energy. Toes are lifted. Watch your belly rise and fall. These are giant belly breaths. Work the quadriceps and the gluteus maximus, your thigh and bum muscles to lift the hips up higher. Soften your shoulders, press the pinkies down, deepen the breath. Concentrate leg muscles and belly breathing. Heels stay to the mat. Release the grip, slowly lower. Middle, upper back first, then middle back. Curl your tailbone towards your knees, then set the top rim of sacrum down. Feet together, knees apart. You can perform the exact same posture a second time, or can do full wheel. Full wheel, hands by the ears. Fingers face towards shoulders. Full wheel. I want you to be lifting in the same manner as bridge to protect your low back and setting it up in order. So feet are square. Press top rib of sacrum down, feel tailbone lift, then lift top rib of sacrum middle back. Go ahead, wheel. To modify wheel, you could keep your head on the mat. So you're transitioning the weight into the hands as there for, stabil uh, for stability, not for pressure. Slowly release everybody or stay up if you want. It's your practice. Don't have to do anything anyone says. Hug the knees, make some circles. Abdominals. Interlace the fingers behind the head. You're not pulling on the neck. You're resting the head into the hands. 
Knees above the hips, heels just below the knee line. Inhale, shoulder to shoulder blades lift off the mat. Hold your lungs full and press the top rim of the sacrum down, feet are active. Exhale, point your elbows towards your left knee and straighten your right leg. Right heel one meter from the floor, press the top rim of the sacrum down, keep your right shoulder, left shoulder lifted. Inhale, center. Hold your lungs full and press the top rim of the sacrum down, keep your shoulders off of the mat. Exhale, point your elbows towards your right knee, straighten left leg, hold your lungs empty. Keep your right knee above your right hip. Lift your right shoulder, curl your tail in towards your left heel. Inhale, center. Hold your lungs full, press top rim of sacrum down, keep your shoulders off of the mat. Exhale, point your elbows towards your left knee, straighten the right leg, pull the belly down, curl the tailbone up, spread the toes apart. Inhale, center. Hold your lungs full, press the top rim of the sacrum down, keep your shoulders off of the mat. Exhale, point your elbows towards your right knee. Hold your lungs empty, straighten left leg, curl the tailbone up, spread the toes apart, lift the right shoulder, pull the belly down. Inhale, center. Hold your lungs full, press top rim of the sacrum down, keep your shoulders lifted. Exhale, point towards the left, straighten the right, Spread the toes, push top rim of sacrum down, pull the belly down. Inhale, center. Hold your lungs full, press top rim of sacrum down, keep your shoulders off of the mat. Exhale, point your knee, elbows towards your right knee, straighten the left leg, keep your right knee above your right hip. Spread the toes, curl the tail one up, lift the right shoulder. Inhale, center. Hold your lungs full, press top rim of sacrum down, curl the tail one up more. Exhale, point the elbows towards your left knee, straighten the right leg. Spread the toes, pull the belly down, lift the left shoulder. Inhale, center. Hold lungs full, press the top rim to save them down, keep your shoulders lifted. Exhale, point the elbows towards your right knee, straighten your left leg. Curl the tailbone up, spread the toes apart, lift the right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, head, shoulders, feet down. Boat pose. Inhale, big stretch. Exhale, rocks. Everybody grab their thighs, everybody. Now bring the knees as close as you comfortably can to your body. Shins must be parallel, everybody's shins parallel. Straighten your spine, draw your shoulders down. Now if all of that makes sense, and you're waiting for me to let, say, give you the next cue to let go of the thighs, then only let go of the thighs, absolutely nothing changes. Arms and shins parallel. If you're breathing and nothing has changed, then you might move towards pike, straightening legs, lifting hands. Watching that low back that it doesn't collapse. You can hover in canoe pose, if there's space for you to do a canoe pose, and then you can slowly release. Amazing job, everybody. Thread the needle, right ankle, left knee. Lots of teachers will tell you to interlace behind thigh or front of shin. These days I like to grab my heel and knee with my hands. Ensure that shin is square towards the chest. Back of left knee pressure on the back of the right ankle. Get that ankle and knee towards the chest. Breathe. It's common that you want to lift the whole back to get that ankle closer, but concentrate flat spine. Get into the hip. Toes are active, protect the knee. Over time, your progression would be to hug that shin like a baby. Head down one day. Switch.
Keep your spine flat, right knee pressure, left ankle. Toes pull towards the knee, shoulders are down. Breathe into that hip, breathe into it. Knees to the left and right a couple times. Set up for your final Shavasana. Heels mat width apart. Arms not in contact with the body. Might be more than that with the part, in fact. Still creating that ocean wave sound. Just letting go of the thoughts, focusing on deep breathing. Relaxing your feet, your knees, your elbows, your hands, your shoulders and your hips. The hardest part of our practice of yoga is to take the time to do yoga. It's for sure harder than anything you did today. Move your fingers and toes, ankles and wrists. More you stretch, roll to your side. Use your hand to help yourself up to a seated position. Hmm, what a perfect Sunday. Yin yoga with Shima will commence in less than an hour. So at noon Mountain Standard Time. Hands, heart center. Thank you for sharing your time with me. My name is Roham. Namaste.